Hello, I welcome you all to this wonderful question. This is a 2024 GCE Science Paper 1, which is physics. So this is a B4, and I want to teach you how to answer this particular question. Like you know, I will not only teach you how to answer this particular question, but I will try by all means to help you understand even other questions that may come related to this particular topic called wave motion. The question is saying below shows the displacement distance graph for waves generated on a string. So one example that you need to know that waves that are generated on a string are called the transverse waves. What is a transverse wave? A transverse wave is a type of a wave whose particles vibrate at a right angle or perpendicular to the direction of the travel of a wave. So in this case, the travel of a wave is in that direction. This is what you are supposed to know. We now dive into the questions that are given. So this is a, a diagram you need to understand. We now go to this question that is a define wavelength of a wave. So you know that by definition, a wave is a disturbance that occur on the surface of an object. It is able to transfer heat or energy from one place to the other. So here, define wavelength. What is wavelength? Wavelength, this is a minimum distance at which a wave repeats itself. So we are talking about a what? We are talking about a minimum distance. So this is a minimum what? A minimum distance at which a wave repeats itself. So at which a wave repeats itself. So at which that word there is which? At which a wave repeats itself. A wave repeats itself. A wave repeats itself. This is what you are supposed to know and understand. A minimum distance at which a wave repeats itself. We now move on to the next question. State the wavelength of the wave. Before we answer this particular question, you need to understand one thing. They want you to state the wavelength of the wave. So the wavelength of the wave, you know that that one on top, that is called a crest, and this one is called a trough. This is what you need to understand. So for us to have one wave, we need to have a crest and a trough, meaning when it is starting from here, it must move like this, moves like this, until it, reach, it reaches there. So when it reaches there, it starts again. Have you seen? It started from here, like going upward. Even here, it is going to start from here. So this distance, have you seen? It, is, it will start repeating itself from this point. So this is the wavelength. It is what? 10. And it is in centimeters. So you can put 10 what? You can put 10 centimeters there. If you want to put it in meters, you divide it by 100. That is 0 0.1. So O, 0 point one meters it is just the same so this is the answer this one or that one it is just one and the same the next question it is saying what is the amplitude of the wave they want us to find the amplitude of the wave by definition what is amplitude so amplitude this is the maximum displacement of a wave from its resting position from here until it reaches that part. So from here up to there, the maximum displacement of a wave from its resting point, that is what we are calling what amplitude. So what is the amplitude there? We get there, that is 10. Even here we are able to see that it is 10. Have you seen from the resting point here up to its maximum displacement, there is 10. So it is just also 10. You can put 10 there. So I can put what? I can put 10 uh, centimeters. So I can put 10 centimeters there. I'll say 10 centimeters, which is just the same as 0 0.1 meters. I guess you people are able to understand this. You are able to follow me clearly. So this is the answer or that one. We now proceed and look at the next question, which happens to be our last question in this paper. So in this uh, session that I'm having with you, I guess even as we are interacting, you are able to discover new things, you are getting one or two things. The question is saying, 
If the waves travel along the string at, this is the velocity. 0 0.5 meter per second velocity is given there. 0 0.5 meter per second. Okay. Calculate the period of the waves in the above diagram. So they want us to calculate the period in that diagram. How can we now calculate the period? For us to calculate the period, you know and understand that period and frequency, this, the period is inversely proportional to what? To uh, period. So it means that even period is inversely proportional to frequency. One over what? Frequency. This is the formula. That's why we say frequency. We, you agree with me? We say frequency is equal to one over period. This is what we get to do. But if you make this one the subject to the formula, you are going to come up with this. Hope I'm not confusing anyone. So this is a particular formula that we are going to use. From here now, the next thing that you need to do, you say, okay, after coming up with this answer, I say after coming up with this formula, you say now, okay, what am I given? I'm given uh, velocity here. I'm also given wavelength. You, you know that, okay, wavelength, you are what? You are given. You say wavelength is now equal to what? Wavelength 0 0.1 meters. You can calculate frequency by using the equation for waves. Velocity is equal to frequency multiplied by wavelength. We can calculate this one with the frequency there. So we divide both sides by wavelength, divide both sides by wavelength. This and that cancel out. We get to have this particular formula. We say frequency is equal to velocity over wavelength. This is equal to what is velocity? 0 0.5 over what is a uh, wavelength? Wavelength that is 0 0.1. We say, okay, what answer are we going to get there? So therefore, frequency is now equal to what is our frequency? Get our calculator. We divide 0 0.5 divide 0 0.1 what is the answer the answer is 5 so it is 5 haze we are getting 5 what 5 haze it is this 5 years that i'm going to substitute there so this is the same as 1 divide what 5 have you seen 1 divide 5 so it means period is now equal to period is equal to what 1 divide 5 what is the answer 0 0.2 0 0.2 seconds period is in seconds so this is the answer you are done this is what you are supposed to do i guess you've learned one or two things those of you that could like to join us we offer tuitions in mathematics chemistry physics biology as well as english language you can contact me on my number this is the number you need to contact me on so the number is 0971 -0667 Four, seven. This is my number. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to follow us. Don't forget to like this video and let me know where you are connecting from. Thank you so much. Stay blessed.